On a new legislation heading to Governor Spencer Cox's desk to sign following today's special session, it includes accepting more than a billion dollars in federal funding for coronavirus relief and prohibiting mask mandates in schools next year. And the session did not end without some drama at the Capitol. Democrats walked out when a resolution on critical race theory came up during the extraordinary session. ABC 4's Jason Wynn has more on today's events. I welcome you to the first first special session of the 64th legislature. Utah's legislature passed a ban on face mask requirements next academic school year. The bill passing the House 50 to 24 and 23 to 5 in the Senate. School districts will be prohibited from ordering mask mandates on their own. I think that that's important because uh, it just puts them in the right uh, frame of mind as they start to enter school. Republican Representative Melissa Ballard stood against the bill saying it took away local control. We want to be mask friendly. We want uh, people to know that if they want to wear a mask, they can wear a mask. That's never uh, not an option. Another big ticket item deals with COVID-19 relief. The state to receive those uh, almost a billion and a half or a little over a billion and a half dollars uh, from the federal government. That's probably the most important piece of business today. Lawmakers divided the money for education, homelessness, infrastructure and Utah's court system to name a few. That's a lot of money, and we need to invest that right for the state going forward. The room would be less full as Democrats walked out of the House during the special extraordinary session, all in protest to the critical race theory resolution, which encourages the Utah Board of Education to take action. To date, the board states no teachers are teaching the theory in classrooms, nor has the subject been brought up during a formal meeting. I'm Jason Wynn, ABC 4 News.